Hey everyone, welcome to another video for I Love Infusionsoft. I want to talk today about spam bots. I had a call. Big problem. Yeah, and it seems to just infect at the wrong time and it's super frustrating. I had a client who reached out to me last week and they're like, Matt, there's something going on on our account. You know, all of a sudden we have all these leads and the, the names are funny. And so I went and looked on their account. I found one of the names that she was talking about and turns out there was like 450 leads that had popped up, you know, and oh, they weren't running ads in Russia? No, no, no ads in Russia. It was just all of a sudden they got all those dang Russian yeah. scammers. <laughs> and then this morning, for our site, for Box Out Marketing, it's I went Russian. and looked at it, and we had you know probably fifty Russian bots. Well, what's going on, man? Who knows why people spend their time <laughs> trying to figure out how to get contacts into our uh, CRM accounts? I have no idea, but it's happening, and it's a problem. And the reason it's a problem, not just because it clutters up your database and you have to go in and delete them every once in a while, but the reason it's a problem is because it will and can affect your email deliverability, right? So the, uh, the email service providers, Google, Yahoo, all these guys, Hotmail, um, they're building more and more and more artificial intelligence into their services. And so if they see that you're sending emails to real email addresses that don't get open and don't get engagement, then your sender scores go down, right? And so that affects Infusionsoft and it affects you individually uh, because your email address that it's sending from, your domain that it's sending from is being affected. And so this email deliverability problem is the, is the real issue that we're trying to solve for here. We have to block these spam bots from getting into our accounts. Can I, can I make a quick mention about something? Yeah. Uh, you may have had this happen to you. Um, I know some of our clients have where they get an email from Infusionsoft that says, hey, you know, it's kind of like a hand slap. It says, hey, you're doing something not so good. And people kind of get upset or a little concerned about that because it says, you know, Infusionsoft yeah. will shut you down, which they will if you're a repeat offender. But the easy way to fix that is by taking care of your spam bots. Yeah, and it's important to realize um, that they're not trying to chastise you. They're mm -hmm. trying to help you actually get better inbox placement. Right. Um, now, the wording in the email doesn't come off that way currently. Hopefully, they'll change that. Um, it comes off more as the chastisement. <laughs> hint, hint, um, but, nudge, nudge. <laughs> right. but the real purpose is they're trying to help you get better inbox placement. Why? Because when you get better inbox placement, their servers as a whole get better preference as well. And so it's a kind of you help yourself and help us at the same time, and we all help each other type of thing. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but Everyone we, wins. But, but we got to solve the problem. So there's a couple of things. Like Matt said, if you are someone who's been affected by this, you might want to check check out a tool called listcleaner.io. And we'll have a link uh, along with this video that you can click on to go check that out. Uh, it's a tool that can help you clean up your list. Um, also, if you want to figure out how to block these guys from getting into your forms altogether, there's a few resources out there, um, a lot of them that are quite good. Um, but we'll have a link in this post as well. Uh, that goes to our blog where we wrote up a little crazy JavaScript yep. um, to basically break up your form and confuse the bots. And it seems to be working really well for us and for a lot of our clients. So it's a couple of resources there for you to check out. Now, I do want to say one disclaimer. Tyler just talked about how we wrote this script. We do have it on our forms, but the, the form that they found just today was a really old form that you know we'd kind of forgotten about. And yeah, so it's that's from like why they 2012. It's just been out there on a landing page. Yeah. And we never so, fixed it up. So they found that form and that's why it happened to us. But you know, guys, thanks for watching. If you want more tips, you can visit us at iloveinfusionsoft.com or you can visit us at boxoutmarketing.com and click on the little consult button. We'd be happy to chat with you.